At this point, we've done a whole lot of work to get our character moving around, and it's about to come to fruition here. Last video, we looked at how to use the mouse to uh, have the character look around. The mouse can control the camera. And we discovered that there was a problem where the character would always move the same way, regardless of, of where the camera was pointing. So in this video, we're going to fix that. And we have our character right here. Uh, let's go with a different color. We have our character right there. And we know his view vector. Okay, I'm going to actually call it F hat instead of V hat. So F stands for forward. We know what direction is forward. In other words, what direction he's looking in. And it's a unit length vector. We calculated that last video. So if we want to set his, his velocity properly, the velocity would be the forward vector, f hat, times some speed, times some speed. And so we can use this speed to control, make the character move forward and backwards according to where he's looking instead of just always in the same direction. And that handles forward and backwards movement, but we also need we also need to be able to tell we also need to be able to let him strafe side to side uh, with the A and D keys. So we need a right vector, R hat. If we had R hat, then we could say R hat times the speed, and we could add that in to our velocity and get that this is the this is the equation for all movement of characters in every video game forward times the speed plus right times the speed so all we need to do is calculate this uh, r hat and how do we do that we have to use a thing called cross product cross product product okay so this is another way of multiplying two vectors we already covered dot product and cross product looked like this. A cross B equals C. This X is, is the, the notation for cross product. Oops. Uh, and when you cross two vectors, you're always going to get a vector that's completely perpendicular or orthogonal to the third vector. So, and that's what we want because See, R here is completely perpendicular to F, and so we can use cross product to get it. So, if you have three vectors like this, here's one, here's two, okay, and this is the angle between them, theta, we'll call this A and we'll call this B. If you cross A and B, you get a third angle, C, that is exactly right angles to both A and B. And that'll be C. That's what we want. Now, what is the length of C? The length of C is going to be the length of A times the length of B times the angle, the sine of the angle between A and B. And that'll come in uh, to be more important later. So let's just bear that in mind for now. How do we calculate our cross product? I'm going to write a little mnemonic here that can get kind of complicated, but you don't have to remember it. This is what you have. This is what's important right here: the length of a times the length of b times sine of theta. That tells you the relationship between all of these vectors. So remember that, and don't get too confused about what I'm about to write. I'm going to go to a different color here, nice blue color: x, y, z, z, y. Sizzy, if you want to remember it that way. This is a mnemonic for remembering how to calculate a cross product. So here's what I'm going to do. The cross product X is equal to AYBZ minus AZBY. So this is how you calculate the X component of the cross product. And I'm just going to, um, in order to calculate the Y and Z, I do something similar. I just cycle through the X y and z. Where I see an x, I make a y. Where I see a y, I make a z. Where I see a z, I make an x. So I'm going to do that with these two. z, x. z goes to x, x goes to y, 
z goes to x, y, y goes to z, z goes to x, and then I can fill all of these in. A z b x minus a x b z, and then a x b y minus a y b x. This is how you calculate cross product for between A and B. And that's a lot of stuff, that's fine. We're just gonna plug it into the computer. Computer will do all the work, so. Uh, let's head on over here and look at how to use the cross product to calculate R. We know an up vector, up. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it U hat. And it is zero, one, zero, right? Because our Y dimension is the up and down dimension. So this is a unit length vector that points straight up. So if we cross U and F, we will get a vector in the direction of R, not a unit length vector because see, uh, at U and F may not be exactly 90 degrees apart. Even though they're both one, their lengths are both one, uh, they may not be exactly, because the player may be looking slightly up or down. But we will get a direct, a vector in the direction of R, which we can normalize, and that will give us that R hat right there that we want. And that will let us move our character uh, side to side, so let's go in the game and see how it works. All right, here's our cross product function right below our old dot product, fu product function. Let's implement it real quick according to that uh, formula we had before. Let's see, it will be y times v dot z minus z times v dot y. In the interest of time, I'll just copy and paste this and fill in the rest of the values as quickly as I can. z, y, z, this is x. That looks like it fits our formula. I didn't make any mistakes. Okay, return c. Let's hop on over to the uh, main file here. This is our update function again that we learned about a few videos ago. Uh, instead of vec velocity, I have changed all that to vec movement because now vec movement is going to specify and if the player wants to go forward or back or left or right and at what speed. The speed is going to be cooked right into this movement variable here. And with that, we're going to calculate the velocity. So let's get to that. We know what our forward vector is going to be, and that's just going to be the box's view angles, like we discussed in the previous video. And I'm actually going to do a little trick here. I'm going to zero out the Y. That's the up down because I don't want the character to actually go up when he looks up. He's going to stay along the ground. And then let's renormalize that so that we get a view a unit length vector and of course we know what vec up is that's just the up vector and now we can calculate vec right that will be vec up crossed with vec forward okay now we can calculate the velocity vec lots actually we're going to calculate the box's velocity velocity is going to be vec forward times the box uh, what movement do I want in the x direction and then vec right times what movement do I want in the z direction because see z is the character moving laterally and x is the character moving forward and back and this the speeds will be cooked directly into uh, these values. So now we have the box's velocity and we are going to uh, use that instead of the movement to calculate our position and, and to update and do all that stuff we learned about in the, uh, in the game loop video. So now that should be it. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. Let's run it and see what's up. So now if I look at a weird angle, there you go. I'm moving directly forward and backwards. It works for any angle. It's beautiful and I can also move side to side and dodge in and out of these guys. Woo! Okay, good. 
Next video, we're kind of bored of doing character movements, so let's look at how to shoot stuff. That sounds more fun and interesting. We're going to look at how to trace a line through the environment and do some collisions. Booyah! See you next video.